from the BKW Physics, I'm Mr. McConley, and we've been studying waves, introductory to waves, and one type of wave is a sound wave, and sound waves fall into the category of what? Small tears? Hmm? Pulse and transmit. They do, they pulse, and they move like this. What category is that? There are two categories. There was this type. Longitudinal and parallel. And there was this type. This type transverse, was called longitudinal. Transverse. This type was called transverse. Okay? So we're talking longitudinal waves. And longitudinal waves are made up of compressions and rarefactions. So when sound goes through the air, as I'm speaking to you, my sound is traveling out and it's going through the air like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. At a certain, certain frequency, if I lower my voice, well, 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 hot, raise my voice, it goes quicker. Anyway, that sound gets to your ear, and it goes whoop, 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 in your ear, and then your eardrum translates that into sound, and you, you hear it. Okay, that's the way sound works, longitudinal wave. Well, what we're going to demonstrate today is we're going to have a bell in a jar. It's a classic demonstration. And I am going to wire it up down here to my... Uh, lab desk power supply. So I'm connecting the negative to a negative, positive to a positive. Make sure it works. All right. Bell is ringing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure this is sealed. We're going to make sure this is closed. Good. Then we're going to take and we're going to suck all the air out of this bell jar. So right now this is a vacuum pump and it's creating a vacuum by pulling the air down through an oil bath. So the air is being pulled out of this glass container down through the oil bath and actually it comes out, where did it come out? Right here, there it is. So you can feel, if you were over here, you can feel the air coming out here because it's pulling it down through the oil and then letting it out. So slowly we're just pulling air out of this container right now. And you might also notice... It's getting quieter. It's getting quieter. Hmm? So what this demonstration is showing, is I explained to you that that sound is a longitudinal wave that needs to move something like this. What is it moving when I'm talking to you? Air molecules. Anything that's in the air right now. It's moving all that air. Well, if you suck the air out, and this is just a vacuum inside of here, what is it going to move? Nothing. It has nothing that it can move, so the bell is going like this, and it's pushing against nothing, and you notice you can't really hear it anymore because it's got no air to push. Now, one of the reasons you are actually hearing it is because you're also getting some transfer Actually, I'll stop this so you can hear how much quieter. It'll never get totally quiet. This is pretty quiet right now. It'll never get totally quiet because the sound is actually traveling up the wires. You can see on the inside of the glass jar, there's wires that connect up to here that then connect to my power supply. And it's actually shaking the wires. And then it shakes these and it shakes these. And so some of the sound is coming direct up through here and then it's, then it's getting transferred to the air. But it got pretty quiet, you can hear that. So sound is a longitudinal wave, and sound requires a material to travel through. This is different than light. Light is also a wave. So we can talk about that as we look at this demonstration. Light must be able to go through a vacuum, because I can still see it, even though I sucked the air out. So there's a vacuum in there, there's nothing in there, it's a void yet I can still see that perfectly clear. So waves that can travel through a vacuum are called electromagnetic waves. Waves that need something to travel through, material waves. Here, I'm gonna let the air back in. And the sound comes back. For today, physics. 